Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Do we have deja vu going on? No, we do not. Uh, today is actually Saturday, and uh, we have the next building coming in that is going to go down by the spring. And this is a lofted barn. It is a 10 by 24. Uh, so we, I didn't film from the very beginning. I figured you probably didn't want to see the whole thing again. And Lauren, didn't you say something about Dan driving this one in? <laughs> yeah, he sure is. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Job, yeah, yeah, Dan's up there and uh, he's driving. No, I'm, I'm only kidding, guys. He's not. <laughs> Oh, that was too funny in the last video. But, uh, so yeah, here's the next building coming in. And uh, so we'll get this one all the way in. And like I said, I'm going to videotape this part of it again so you guys can see. And uh, same kind of color, which is actually kind of funny. And these guys didn't come together and say, hey, let's go with the same type of color on our buildings. Um, but uh, it ended up, look, it looks that way, which is kind of neat. But uh, I think this color will go real nice uh, with the green roof too, uh, down in that area where it's gonna be down by the spring. So, but, uh, yep, so we're just, uh, you know, this one um, is higher. You can see with the lofted part, it's, uh, you know, it's got a, a, a higher peak so you know, just something that has to you have to watch out for uh, as we're bringing it in. But uh, you know, it just uh, slow and steady wins the race, and uh, we're going to get this this in here, and uh, it'll be really good. And then it's going to hopefully, hopefully, and I say this hopefully, it'll be about a month <laughs> before we have to get the next building in. So. But we're all set and ready to go down at the site. I moved the rest of the uh, paver stones that were over on the other site over. Uh, and so this one will, because of the extra four feet, uh, the other one had four piers. This one will have five. So, but we're also only going to go. Uh, you know the two paver stones on the bottom uh, two blocks high which is high enough and uh, you know and then whatever you know if he has to do any adjustments to because these spots aren't laser level I mean you know <laughs> the Bobcat guy didn't have the laser out going okay this is perfectly level you know he just got it as good as he could get it and uh, you know we went from there but uh, Slow and steady, it's coming along. And I know that, uh, you know, both of the guys that had buildings coming in here are very excited and uh, looking forward to getting down here and, you know, start working on their buildings and all that good stuff. And so that's, that's always a good thing as well. So, anyway, so you're going to be uh, with watching on this next turn, he'll have to drop that thing down and, and go sideways. But yeah, so like anybody that's, that's wondering if you want to have uh, a trailer like this trailer, uh, it's a steal for $120,000. <laughs> but again, it's an investment, and you know, so that's, uh, you know, if you're going to invest in something, and I think this is a really, really interesting tool. I know in the last video, a lot of people said, I've never seen a trailer like that before. Uh, you know, but it's, it's designed for this. Uh, you know, being able to get in and around tight spots and, and corners and and, and those type of things, which I think is really, really neat. And uh, But modern technology, I'll tell you what, it is absolutely amazing uh, what can be done, you know, these days now.
right, so this turn will be interesting. And uh, all right, so he's already going to have to go over a little bit. You see it lifting up, and then it's going to go sideways. back a little bit further so when he has to turn this again you guys will be able to see that all right so now are you gonna want to go over again stop stop okay. stop yep stop there because you're heading towards that uh, where it's open and you don't want to be there. Everything clear in the rear of the, yep. of the trailer? Yep, you're good back there. You're perfectly fine. You can go a lot further. Yep, you're good. Just like that, guys. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Nothing to this business. <laughs> I like your sense of humor, sir. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, since the hard part is over, uh, I'm going to sign off of this video for right now, and uh, I will show you, uh, you know, once we start bringing it in and uh, all that, and uh, we will go from there. Uh, remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. We have to stop letting them divide us. They like to use tools, which are race, religion, political affiliation. But at the end of the day, we all bleed red. And if we can come together as human beings, we can accomplish anything that we want to accomplish. And I truly believe that. Uh, also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day 
tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. If you stay positive and stay away from the negativity, you're going to be just fine. All right? Uh, don't listen to negative people telling you what you can't accomplish. If you set realistic goals, you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. And uh, so stay away from the negativity and jump into the positivity and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day and uh, I will see you here shortly with the next video and uh, we will show I'll share that progress. Prepper Nurse 1 out for now.